two, one. Hi there, boys and girls, and welcome to this morning's lesson. I'm so excited to be with you, and just thank you so much for connecting, and I really, really hope that you have an amazing lesson today. Well, before we do anything, like always, we're going to pray. Are you guys ready? Right, what do we do? When we want to pray, we close our eyes and bow our heads. The reason why we do that is that we can be focused on God and we're not looking and listening to lots of different things around us. We want to make sure that when we pray to God, that we honor God and we focus on God. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is make sure you close your eyes, bow your heads and let us pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that we get to gather together today in your name. Thank you for this lesson that you're teaching us. And I pray, Lord God, that you will lead us and guide us as we go through today's lesson. Pray, Lord God, that you will keep us safe today and help us to listen and hear what you want to teach us today. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right. Well, today's lesson is all about, it was continuing to learn about Abraham. Uh, so we've been looking at a lot of different stories about Abraham over the last few weeks. If you haven't watched those lessons, why don't you ask your mom or your dad to go backwards and watch some of the previous lessons so that you know where we're at. Well, today we're looking at um, Abraham and his wife, Sarah. And they are now living in the land that God had given them. I don't know if you guys remember a few, a little while ago, God made a promise to Abraham. Can you guys remember what that promise was? No? Well, let me tell you. That promise is that God promised Abraham that he would have many descendants, as many as the stars in the sky. Well, I don't know about you, but Abraham had been waiting for a really long time before he got answered that, um, answered, God answered his promise. And sometimes we wait for something and we just don't know when it's going to happen. Like, have any of you guys waited for something for your birthday? Well, for example, this is my... Uh, my daughter's little dolly, right? And this is her little dolly. Now, I want you guys to imagine that you waited a really long time for the, your little dolly or a little gift that you were going to get. And you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait. And then suddenly, the day comes and you get to unwrap your present and you get to see what's inside. Do you guys know how long Abraham and Sarah waited for their, their baby? Really long time. Abraham was already 100 years old. And Sarah was 90 years old. That's really, really, really old. And anyway, one day, God came up to them. Uh, 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 some visitors were coming up to Abraham. And, they said, and, they, and, and Abraham was there. And they came to Abraham and said, Abraham, we've got great news for you. God has decided to give you um, a baby. Well, Sarah was standing near the tent and she heard this and she started to laugh. She thought it was so funny because she was really, really old. She's like, ah, we're never going to have children. Well, it did. It was, it, 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 it was something that it, Sarah, Sarah was pregnant. She was going to have a baby. And Abraham and Sarah were so excited that they finally got their gift that they were going to get. Well, um, and, and, and they waited and they waited and after a little bit of time, Isaac was born. Isaac was their son and Isaac became, um, had children and those children became children. And eventually um, out of Abraham and Sarah and out of baby Isaac, um, Abraham's promise of, so, of having descendants as many as the stars in the stars, sky came true. Abraham had many, many, many um, children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren all because God kept his promise, even though they were really old. Well, what is that going to do today? Well, I want you guys to remember, do you guys have a Bible at home? If you've got a Bible, quickly show me your Bible. This is this is um, my children's Bible. Have you, I, I'm, um, I'm sure you guys have got a Bible like this, or maybe you've got another kind of Bible, because uh, there's just so many. But do you guys know that when you read th this Bible, or a Bible, God, you read about God's promises, and God's promises always come true. Do you guys know that? There are so many promises in this Bible. I mean, I opened up and there's this, the, one of the stories is there is Noah and Noah promised to keep, um, or God promised to keep Noah safe, even though there was a great flood and it came true. And uh, there we go. There's the story of Isaac and Sarah and, they, and, and the promise that came true there. There are so many stories that we can read about 
throughout this whole Bible. And in the Bible, you'll find that all of those different promises. So the question today is, is what has God promised you? Well, when you read the Bible, there are so many things that God can promise you specifically. God promises that he's going to be with you no matter what. So maybe you are um, feeling that you're lonely. Well, God is going to be there with you. Do you know that? Wow. Maybe God, you know that God has promised you that he's going to help you when you're sick. Are any of you guys feeling sick? Well, just trust in God because God is going to help you feel better. Because God's promises always come true. So I want you guys to make sure that this week you read your Bible, right? And read as many promises that you can. And I want you to pray to God that, that he helps you keep those promises. Because God's word is always true. Just like Isaac and Abraham. Abraham and Sarah had a baby called Isaac, even though they were really, really old. That is so amazing. So I want you guys to, this week, whenever you get something that you don't expect or that is a surprise, I want you guys to think about Isaac and Abraham and Sarah. God's promises always come true. I want you to say, thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful gift that I got. Or thank you, Mommy and Daddy, for the gift that I got. Or whatever it is, whoever gave you the surprise. I want you to just make sure that you say thank you to Jesus. Will you guys do that for me? Awesome. Don't forget, there's some awesome activities that you can download and do at home. Or um, some of them are printable and just some of them are activities that your mom and dad can do with you. So why don't you ask your mom and dad to click the link uh, in our WhatsApp group to make sure that they get the activities and they can read through what are some of the cool games and fun things that you can do at home. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I just trust that you guys are going to be blessed this week. Don't forget, God's promises are true. Say it with me. God's promises come true. I can't hear you. God's promises come true. One more time. God's promises come true. All right. Well, have an amazing rest of your week, boys and girls. I love you lots and I'll hope to see you guys soon. Let's quickly pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful day. I pray, Lord God, that you help us every day to just keep our eyes fixed on you. We thank you for all the things that you promised us in your Bible. And I pray, Lord God, that you will help us to learn those things. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I pray that you just lead us this week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, boys and girls.